hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugins but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses all links are available in the description and you can join my youtube membership motion pro which is just for 59 rupees you'll get access to new after effect tutorials advanced motion graphic tutorials, blender animation, cinema 4D animation, project files and much more and this is going to be support for my channel as well. And if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and don't forget to like this video. So without wasting any much more time, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to name it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration I'm going to choose one minute and background color choose white color and simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title section. Then I'm going to press Ctrl N to create another composition and I'm going to call it as fair. Okay. And width I'm going to choose 500 and height as well 500. Frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute and background color is white and simply hit OK. Then go to the ellipse, select this ellipse and in fill we will choose black color and simply double click on this ellipse so we will get this pair. Now let's select this ellipse, hit enter and let's call it as black. Okay. Then I am going to select this, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, hit enter and let's call it as white. Okay, then select this and change this fill to white like that. Okay, then select this white, go to the effect and presets panel and search for linear wipe effect and double click to apply and hit U so as you guys can see we are getting keyframes over here then go few frame forward and somewhere around at this point which is 50 we will create one keyframe so let's delete all of this keyframes like that so now if you see over here we have one white and one black and this is our spare so let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and let's bring this spare over here then press ctrl y to create one solid background and we are going to choose a little bit grayish color background and let's try to bring this downwards and let's lock this then select this pair press r s for scaling option and let's make this scale 50 okay and now i'm going to select this pair and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll hold ctrl or you can simply enable this snapping option and try to snap this properly at the downwards then select this hit ctrl d let's try to bring this over here like that okay but before that let's do one thing i'm going to do this one i'll select this spare over here i'll press r for rotation and i'm going to rotate it on 90 degree okay like that or instead of that what you can do let's select this press r and let's zero again like that i'm going to select this pair right click reveal reveal layer in search project so we will get over here I'll select this pair and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and by holding Alt I'm going to simply replace it over here. Then go inside this sphere, select this white and make it apparent with this black. Then select this black, press R for rotation and rotate it on 90 degree. Okay, like that. But if you see we are still not getting anything. So let's do one thing. Let's make this zero and I want this one should also get moved. Okay, so see if you want then you can select both of these layers and press Ctrl Shift C and let's call it as fill over here and then press R and let's make this 90 degree rotation. So if you see over here, we don't need to change the rotation over here. The reason why I'm going to do this because when it's going to get animated, we need to rotate this as well. Okay, so that's why I don't want to rotate it over here. Instead of that, I would prefer to create duplicate. I'll replace it and inside that I am going to rotate it. Okay, simple as it is. Now we will select this two. We will hit Ctrl D and I'm going to bring them at the top 
and let's try to bring this over here and we have to make sure that they are going to touch each other properly again hit ctrl d and let's bring this over here and let's try to bring this over here like that again hit ctrl d bring this at the top and let's try to bring this over here it should touch the bottom okay and then let's make this fill now select this pair over here press p select this position right click and choose separate dimension zoom in let's create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y and then go somewhere around 1.20 frames i'm going to change this x position of this one over here up to this and by holding shift i'm going to bring this downwards like that and somewhere around at 1.20 frame i'm going to change the y position of this one to over here or you can simply move this from here and we don't need to create keyframe on x so i'll delete it then i'm going to select this y position keyframe and i'm going to hit f9 then i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this shift hold move this over here select this shift hold move this over here select this and shift hold and move this over here okay so we will get this kind of animation now i am going to press r for rotation to create one keyframe hit u go to the last frame and let's make this three rotations so we will get something like that now same kind of animation i want for this pair as well but i want this animation should start at this point okay so for that what i'm gonna do first i would love to create keyframes so what i'm gonna do hit p for position select this right click and choose separate dimension and i'm going to select this keyframes only i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this layer and i'll hit ctrl v now if you see they are also moving on this point but our main animation is uh, starting over here so i don't want that so uh, what i'm gonna do initially i'm going to move this over here like that okay it should be properly over here let's try to touch it properly like this okay don't change the position of it like that like it should be properly 960 over here like this okay just like our previous one okay and then uh at this point uh i'm gonna select this and instead of on this side i'm going to holding shift i'm going to move this on this side okay so if you see, see this animation now we will get something like that then i'm going to select this rotation property keyframe i hit ctrl c i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl v over here now if you press r we will get same animation like that but this time i want this value should be negative 3 so let's type negative 3 okay like that then hit u and let's go somewhere around 20 frame i'm going to select this keyframe and let's move this over here okay like that and then like that then we need this animation in the form of loop so simply right click new and create one null object i'm going to select all of these layers and i'll make it apparent with this null then i'm going to press ctrl r and let's try to bring this ruler over here like that zoom in a little bit and let's try to adjust this over here then select this null object press p for position to create one keyframe then hit u over here and make sure it should go at this point over here then select this null object and change this y position of this one to somewhere around at this point over here like that and if you hit n over here and if you make this fit and if you check it out this animation we are gonna get this kind of animation but if you see over here at this point we this object is still uh, visible as well as this so what we can do let's select this object let's go to this keyframe and we will move this y position a little bit more downward similarly at this point we will move this y position a little bit downward so now if i'm gonna see this animation i'll get this animation then i'll get this animation continuously like that in the form of loop now i'm going to select all of this and i'm going to press ctrl shift c and i'm going to name it as animation and hit ok then double click to open this over here hit u let's go to this work area right click and choose trim comp to work area then go to the main animation 
hit O so we can go at the end of our current time indicator. Right click, choose time and choose time enable remapping. And before last keyframe, I'll create another keyframe and then I'll delete this keyframe. We don't need that. And I know uh, that my animation is ending at this point over here. So we'll take up to few frames forward. If you see, we have this animation and after this, it's not going anywhere because we need to apply loop out expression on this stopwatch. So I'll click on the stopwatch and let's apply loop out expression over there like that. So if you see this now, we are going to get this animation continuously in the form of loop. Now we just need to check it out at which point we should stop this animation. Now I'll go somewhere around to, to this frame and we have to make sure that when this ball is going to touch our line, which is our reference line. So I think at this point, this is touching this line. Let's go a few frame forward a little bit. I think at this point over here, it's touching this line, but this is going to be a very fast so i think this line is enough so i'll hit n over here okay so now if you make this fit we can see our animation is going to be in the form of loop after this point as well and now if i right click new and create one adjustment layer i'm going to apply tint effect on it and double click to apply and i can easily swap this color now i'm gonna go inside this select this pair over here let's go to the start right click choose layer styles and choose bevel and emboss okay not this one but this one which is over here right click layer styles bevel and emboss go to the bevel and emboss and let's increase the softness as well increase the size of it like that and let's decrease the shadow opacity over here a little bit like this also over here we will choose this kind of shadow Okay, if you want to choose specific color, you can choose that. I'm going to choose, I think white color would be okay. Okay, then I'm going to select this layer styles, hit Ctrl C, select all of these layers and hit Ctrl V to paste it. Okay, now if you go and see in main animation comp, and if you swap this color over here, you will get this in different direction. Okay, now we need to animate our adjustment layer as well. So let's swap this color over here like that and I'm going to create one ellipse and by holding shift select create that ellipse. Select this, press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Select this adjustment layer, press F4 and choose alpha mask. Then select this, go to the start, press S. Initially it should be zero to create one keyframe. Somewhere around at this point, I'm going to increase this value that it should cover the entire portion like that. Okay, over here. Then at this point, I'm going to select this two adjustment layer and shape layer. I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And with the help of open square bracket, I'm going to shift them over here. Then hit U. And we have to make sure that this keyframe should be at the end. Okay, so what will happen after this one? we will get the same uh, tint effect over here like that now after that again i'm going to right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and swap this color then press s unlock and let's make this value zero create one keyframe at the start over here create one keyframe then at this point i'm going to make this value 100 again then select this adjustment layer, hit Ctrl D, open square bracket and move this over here and hit U and let's bring this keyframe over here like that. So if you see this now, we are going to get something like that. Okay. And then we will get this again animation in the form of flow. Then again, I'm going to add one last uh, over here uh, sim or you can simply select this to adjustment layer and press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose. And you can call it as animation over here and hit OK. Now let's go inside this and hit U. I'm going to select those keyframes and let's hit uh, F9 over there. Then go to the graph, select this graph by holding shift, move one and or make sure to uncheck this, check it out this options. Then select this and by holding shift, uh, move one handle over here and move one handle over here. 
like that so if you see this now we are not getting anything because uh, we need to press f4 and we need to enable this option over here okay so what will happen because of this there is going to be a little bit softer animation then i'm going to select this layer i'll hit ctrl d i'll press r for rotation and i'm going to rotate it on 90 degree over here okay so if you check it out this animation now we are gonna get something like that but this animation is ending at this point over here so if you want if you are happy with this one then you can go for this one as well but if you want that this should expand a little bit you can press s unlink this and you can scale it on this axis like that okay so now if you're gonna see this animation you will get something like this okay like that then this is how you will get this kind of animation in the form of loop so yep this is how you can create this kind of creative duping animations inside of after effects if you want to go a little bit in depth you can uh, select this uh, animation layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply then increase the distance a little bit as well as increase the softness increase the distance and let's decrease the opacity according to your needs so you are gonna get this kind of a little bit uh, you know shadow effect over there like that okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation